This is what they worked for all evening. Here we come on a turn number four. Green flag flies. We go racing. Well, Darling set the pace. Weller up to the outside, swapping lanes, and here comes Bulky down the back straightaway. It's Darling, Weller, Bulky, and Hogue, followed by Lydell and Biazzi. Top two drivers locked in serious battle, working down there through three and four. Down to the inside, rides Josh Weller in the 63 car, way up the banking, and he grabs the number one position. Josh Weller is your race leader. He's got Ryan Bulky to deal with, and he's got a boatload of back markers. That is not going to work. Trouble, trouble, trouble on the speedway. Trouble at turn number three. Feel on a turn number four this time. It gets itchy and twitchy back deep in the heart of this field right now as Josh Weller is trying to take a hot knife through butter. Look at Weller to the outside of Light Hill that time. Josh Weller is on the move, and watch this guy in turn number four. Here he is to the outside, swings up to the wayside and takes Mark Pinder as a victim. Fifth place battle is on. Now Josh Weller runs into number five spot after having to go to the tail side of the field after that last caution earlier in this event. Kevin Darling takes off, holds on to the number one spot. Frantic goes out and alongside of Timmy Hogue for the number two position. Hogue is second. Josh Weller to the outside of Joey Biazzi. Weller picks up the number four spot. Time gonna wind down as Kevin Darling holds on to the lead right now and a whole lot of shaking going on for second, third, fourth, and fifth. Hope third, Weller fourth, Biazzi fifth. Checkered flag comes out. A quick trip to victory lane. It will be for the number 90 car. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin Darling. What a great job. Kevin Darling picks up his first. URC win.